Hello and welcome to the third presentation of Module 1 of the MELDE project. This presentation is part of the Digital Teaching and Learning module, which includes the following topics. Digital tools and resources, social media and classroom collaboration platforms, digital assessment and feedback tools, and digital curriculum and massive open online courses or MOOCs. In this presentation, we will explore the third topic, digital assessment and feedback tools. The aims of this presentation are to help you understand what good feedback is and how technology can enhance it, explore ways of delivering feedback with the use of digital technology, and help you understand how to design assignments using a variety of digital tools. We will therefore discuss a variety of ways of using digital technology to support different types of assessment and to deliver effective feedback. We all know that assessment is an important part of learning. It informs teaching and it helps your students improve their learning. Assessments evaluate student learning and help them understand their weaknesses. It gives them a sense of achievement and paints a realistic picture of the level that your students are at in their learning. Apart from providing students with feedback, knowing what your students have learned and what their skills are, gives you an idea of what your next lesson should cover. It helps you adapt your lessons to engage all students and avoid making your lessons either too easy or too difficult. Technology can eliminate that panic students feel when they know they're going to be assessed. It can make assessment fun and avoid repetition of tasks by allowing you to choose from a variety of assessment types and tasks. With the aid of technology, assessment doesn't have to be a lonely process anymore. It can be collaborative. You can assess your students both individually and as a group. Another advantage of using technology to assess students is that it provides automatic feedback. For example, if you use Socrative for a multiple choice quiz, your students will get automatic feedback within seconds. So they'll be able to monitor their progress and they'll be able to understand what questions they got right and what questions they didn't. Here are a few examples of digital tools that can improve formative and summative assessment. Most of them provide students with automatic feedback, allowing them to see their results immediately. Apart from this automatic feedback students get, you may also want to provide them with more extended or personalized feedback. But what is feedback after all and why is it so important? Let's watch together this video from the Australian Institute of Teaching and Learning. Is a powerful way to achieve improvement in teaching and learning. It is an integral part of every teacher's practice and when used effectively can improve student learning by as much as eight months. As teachers and school leaders it's essential to understand what evidence-based feedback is if we're to unlock the greatest possible benefits for our students. So, what does the research tell us about feedback in teaching? Feedback is an ongoing process of goal setting, gathering evidence about student learning, and providing instruction that makes clear the next actions to improve performance. Feedback can be given by the teacher, peers, or the student themselves. Two evidence-based models for feedback have been developed by Hattie and Timperley and Black and William. Both models propose three important questions for both the student and teacher to consider. Where is the learner going? Students and teachers need to be clear about the learning goals and what success looks like. Goals need to be appropriately challenging so the students can succeed and grow. Where is the learner right now? Evidence is gathered about the student's knowledge, skills and performance relative to the learning goals and tasks. How does the learner get there? This involves clarifying the steps the student needs to take to achieve the learning goals. If needed, the teacher adapts or changes the teaching and learning activities to meet the student's needs. Feedback can be directly related to the learning task, which is useful. However, feedback about the processes underlying the task or about how students self-regulate their learning is more powerful. So, what are the benefits of effective feedback? Research indicates that effective feedback can increase student effort and outcomes, lead to more effective learning strategies, and improve student self-regulation. The benefits for teachers are also significant. Effective feedback practices provide evidence about student learning related to learning goals and the curriculum. 
This helps teachers understand the impact of their teaching and, if needed, where to adapt strategies to better meet the needs of their students. To improve and sustain good feedback practices, it is vital that educators work collaboratively. School leaders can support teachers by prioritising feedback and implementing a whole school approach, providing access to resources and opportunities for professional learning and collaboration. Teachers can develop their feedback practices by communicating clear learning goals, trialling activities that provide evidence of student learning, planning for task, process and self-regulated feedback, checking that students understand and act on the feedback provided, and working with colleagues to develop and refine feedback practices. So effective feedback is the feedback that clarifies what good student performance is and facilitates a dialogue around learning. It guides students on how to improve their learning. So how can technology help? How can technology improve feedback delivery? Technology can make feedback fun and more personal. For example, the use of a screen capture software is an innovative way to provide feedback on essays and reflective reports. The student can see exactly what they need to improve on as the marker highlights sections of the work and makes audio comments on each section. On the following slides, I've put together a list of step-by-step -step tutorials to get you started with recording audio and video feedback. So I'm going to show you how to record feedback with Zoom. This is a short um, tutorial that I recorded earlier today. Let's watch it together. Hello, I'm going to show you how to use Zoom to record feedback following four easy steps. First step, start a new meeting. Second step, share screen. Make sure that the work you want to provide feedback on is already open on your desktop. Third step, provide feedback as you read through. For example, hi, here's some feedback on your essay. Uh, you start your essay by mentioning that you learned on this module that reality TV could be considered a documentary. Uh, this is a very broad statement. Could you please expand on this? Or you could provide some overall feedback. For example, this is a solid essay proposal with clear objectives. There is confident use of concepts and evidence of a good level of research and understanding. Uh, regarding your essay question and objectives, please be careful not to stray too far from the documentary angle. For more detailed feedback, please check Canvas and book an appointment with me. And the last step is to stop recording and stop sharing. Please remember that Zoom will not convert your file to an MP4 file until you've ended the meeting. You may already be familiar with recording feedback on Zoom, but what I want to show you is how to embed your recording in a Word document. So I have here a Word document. I'm going to write, uh, thank you, please click on the below. Next thing to do is to click on insert. And uh, here somewhere you have this button media. If you click on media, you see that you can choose from adding a um, video file or an audio file. So go to movie from file, then go to the location where you saved your feedback, your recorded feedback, and click on the file. And here it is. You can leave it as it is, or you can try to minimize this screen. This is what your students will see. All they have to do is just double click on the file. Hello, I'm going to show you how to use Zoom so to works. record feedback. Now, this brings us to the end of, uh, of this presentation that discussed a variety of ways of using digital technology to support different types of assessment and to deliver effective feedback. You can find this presentation in an ebook format on the Melde platform, where you can also access ready to use lesson plans and other useful resources. Thank you for listening and see you in the next presentation.